the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, here we go again. Um, this is getting out of hand, folks. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. It's constantly going on, constantly happening, and it's all lies. More false flag to keep your mind off the real thing that they're doing. And upsetting the people of this country in another aspect to try to create racial hate between whites and blacks. Even though the guy that's accused of doing this, whether he did it or whether he didn't do it intentionally or whatever, to create racial tensions between whites and even though this guy may be uh, part Mexican uh, it doesn't matter it's white but folks y'all got to know better than this I mean this is this is getting so far out of hand so far I mean, it's out of hand, folks. It's out of hand. Um, I got a clip behind this. You can watch it. It's put together quite well. It proves about. It shows you about NBC. Uh, what they done to create more hate. Uh, outright, outright, just plain distorted the truth. We can't do that in this country, people. Um. I just don't get it. Why, you know, I don't get it. But anyway, folks, I just had to bring this to y'all's attention. Um, you know, it's bad enough with what's going on. Don't let it distort you from what really is going on. I think a lot of you know now. You're starting to learn. So please get the right message out about this before it starts something that can't be reversed they've already got military down there um, we can uh, got they've already got military down there according to uh, some of the, the actions uh -oh. I don't know quite what that means right there but uh, Y'all can go there. I'll put it on the blog. You can read it. I'm going to put it behind this a little bit here just a second. Uh, start to jump to maybe some conclusions there at start, but uh, it's still bad no matter what. Y'all look at it. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know how you think. What do you think about that? According along with the going along with the keeping your mind out of what's going on with this uh, media thing about black and white but anyway folks um, you know <laughs> it's got to stop somehow it's got to stop much love to y'all heads up and tell me what you think Hi, welcome back to Hannity Time for Media Mash. Now, ever since the shooting of Trayvon Martin began grabbing national attention, the mainstream media has been irresponsibly reporting on this tragedy. And joining me now to go through all the material, the president of the Media Research Center, Brent Bozell. Brent, uh, it's not just the media, but it's also in the halls of Congress. Let's look at some media, some comments. Again, rush to judgment. Watch this. Trayvon was hunted down like a rabbit dog. He was shot in the street. He was racially profiled. Just because someone wears a hoodie does not make them a hula. I really personally believe this is a hate crime. By next week, we're looking forward to getting $1 million for the capture of George Zimmerman. Jeb Bush 
helped pave the way for this senseless tragedy. This investigation is laced with racial profiling, lies, and murder. He was executed for WWB in a GC, walking while black in a gated community. Let's not play this double standard of trying to demonize who is dead. Here you have NBC News, Brian Williams, Tom Brokaw, Matt Lauer. I wonder if they're proud tonight. And on the other hand, then you have the lawmakers, members of Congress, hunted down like a, hunted like a rabid dog, shot in the street, racially profiled. Forget the contradictory eyewitness testimony and everything else. Your reaction? I think the public needs to be stunned at what's going on here. Look, I don't know what happened. I don't know if this guy Zimmerman committed this. If he did, I hope they string him up. But the point is, we don't know. Yet in every single one of those quotes, that person somehow knew. And, and, and then it's laced with dishonesty. The Black Panther movement is saying they're going to put out a bounty for his capture, as if he's on the loose. He's not on the loose. So it's dishonest, and no one's calling them to task for this. Somebody has got to stand up and say, these people are out of control. They have an a agenda. A bounty? Where's, it, where's uh, there a cold? <laughs> All right, let's go to NBC News now. Mm -hmm. they, they distorted Zimmerman's 911 call. And we're going to play the, the edited portion first. Then we're going to put in what they missed, which gives it an entirely different meaning. This is NBC News, Brent. And this is what they did at a time where emotions are running very high in this country. Watch this. This guy looks like he's up to no good. He looks black. Did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, a dark hoodie. This case drew national attention after 911 tapes were released from the night Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer, shot and killed Martin, an unarmed teenager. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. Martin's family says the problem with all of that is that police accepted Zimmerman's statements as the scene as fact and never gathered any more evidence that might reveal what really happened then. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. It's raining and he's just walking around looking about. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He looks black. Now, what they did is, in the first one they said the guy looked like he's up, up to no good. Edit! He looks black. But they forgot the dispatcher's question. Yeah. How could NBC News in good conscience do that? Yeah, Sean, this isn't distortion. This isn't bias. This isn't distortion. This is an all-out falsehood by NBC News. And let me say it again, a falsehood by NBC News. What they, what they did was, in the first clip, when you hear him say, he looks black, anyone watching that believes there are racial overtones to what this man did. How could no. you not believe that? You believe it, it, it goes with the narrative of the profiling. The only problem is, they edited out the dispatcher asking him, what does he look the like? He said and then it. he says he looks and black. And then he answered the question. And to edit that yeah. out is so distorting. All right, let it, me go it, to one it, last it, thing. But, 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 Sean, it's not distorting. It is advancing a falsehood. It's worse. All right. Let me go to uh, uh, George uh, Zimmerman's father, Robert, was interviewed by Fox 35 in Orlando, and he brought up the political implications and mentioned Barack Obama by name. Let's roll this tape. I never foresaw so much hate coming from the president, the Congressional Black Caucus, the NAACP, every organization imaginable is trying to get notoriety or profit from this in, in some way. But there's so much hate that I, I've never been involved in, in hate, and George hasn't, and uh, it's really unbelievable. Now, we don't know what happened, but we do know that George Zimmerman had a broken nose, lacerations in the back of his head, and then we also know um, that in this particular case that we have one, the one eyewitness the police talked to that night said they saw Trayvon Martin on top of Zimmerman. So something happened here well beyond what the implications have been from the media and from activists that are down there. And the radical left has already acted as judge, jury, and executioner in this. Um, this is another Tuana Brawley moment we're looking at, folks. Al Sharpton never apologized for that. He's got to respond. Every single person who hung this person without knowing the facts has got to respond what to this. What about NBC News? The public has to hold them all. NBC News, they, they, are, they are just...
despicable in this. I want to say it again. They outright advanced a falsehood on national television. They outright told a deliberate lie on national television. It's sad, and with the motions running high, um, the height of irresponsibility. Brent Pozell, thanks for being with us, and coming up after...